More miles to come and my car is naked. Welcome back and thanks for being here. My name is Scott and if you saw my previous video then you know I recently did some upgrades and improvements to my rooftop tower, ham radio tower. I have a dozen antennas on the car at the most and oftentimes I pair that back to say just nine, eight or nine antennas. I have already taken that set up to two exhibitions and uh, no contest just yet because with the next one, I don't think September's contest, I'm going to have a conflict. So maybe January, we'll see what I do in January. But right now, ironically, after all of that work, getting all of those antennas up on the car and the improved mounting, the car is completely naked right now, with the exception of just one dual band antenna and my WeBoost cellular signal booster antenna. That's all that's on the car right now. There's two reasons for that. One, uh, first and foremost, I have taken on a side gig as a bicycle tour mechanic. My good friend, uh, who used to be the president of our local bicycle club, and, and during her time in office, I was uh, also an officer in the club, and I was the SAG coordinator and did some logistics as far as delivering water and supplies during our bicycle events. For those who don't know, a SAG vehicle is, those are the support vehicles that move bicycles around, maybe some gear, pick up a broken rider or a broken bicycle, maybe even do some repairs on the side of the road if you can get the bicycle going again. That's what a SAG vehicle does. And so I was coordinating all of our SAG cars at that point. Well, she has recently stood up a bicycle touring business and she's still in her early days. And so we recently did our first bicycle tour and I was a tour mechanic, and so it, it went well. There were three of us supporting the seven riders, so they had a very good support-to-rider ratio, and I think it went well. My car was parked at her place for, for the most part, and so I felt it was safe, but I've also, I have also might join forces with a larger bicycle touring company. The larger company, their rides often have 40 riders on them, and so my first tour with them, let's see, I just got back from Roanoke doing that bicycle tour. And the first order of business upon my return was to strip the roof clean. The primary reason is here in about a week, I'm going to be going out to near St. Louis to set up and join this bicycle tour as uh, a secondary mechanic. He already has a primary mechanic and then general help. So I wanna see how that goes. But my car will be left unattended in a secret location. And I don't want, if you, those of you have been here for a while, you know that I like to hide things. And so I don't want the rack and the antenna, even empty antenna ports, I don't want any of that on the car. I want it to just sit and look plain Jane. I'm even gonna let it get dirty. That way it just looks like a dirty old car sitting out there. <laughs> waiting hopefully it doesn't look abandoned and hey let's break in and mess it up light it on fire i don't know anyway so that's why the stripped roof but my backup reason my secondary reason for removing the rack is so that i can inspect it for damage uh, i don't remember if i said on the channel or not but i have struck some trees with my tower and not long ago i had a a fairly significant impact. And when I say tree, these are tree limbs, right? So they do give. I haven't hit anything that has just ripped anything off the car, but I did strike something that it got my attention. And so I don't know if this was before or after this impact, but I kind of noticed some things sitting a little funny on the, the roof rack. And I know that I stretch some guy lines and I might have stretched some bolts because I found something that was a little loose when I was taking it off. And since I wasn't paying attention, I don't know if that thing loosened because I loosened this thing. And so I want to check that stuff as well. So I will give you some feedback on that. I'll let you know what has happened as far as damage to the rack. There is no damage to my roof. I've checked that. If my jet stream crossbars are damaged, there's no way I would ever think of of faulting the crossbars for this because I don't think any crossbar 
should be expected to hold up to hitting a tree. So uh, if they're not damaged, then hey, cool, those are strong crossbars. But if they are damaged, then hey, come on, it's, it's my own fault. What I will say is they have supported plenty of weight. Uh, the tower itself is 100 pounds. I've had heavy cargo boxes on top of the car, and so I've had the full 165-pound load on these crossbars. And uh, recently, my wife stood on the crossbars with the 100-pound tower up there. So, uh, And she's not terribly heavy, but my point is I had a 100-pound hundred tower on top of the crossbars and her standing on top of it. No, I'm not going to tell you how much she weighs. I did not want to stand on them because I'm quite a bit heavier than she is, but her weight plus the tower weight does exceed the roof limit, the roof weight limit. And that would be a dynamic limit. So sitting still, it was probably fine. So uh, I'm, I'm very pleased with the jet seam crossbars, but if they're damaged, I will replace them. With these bicycle tours comes more miles on the car. I had reported that I didn't think I was gonna cross the 200,000 mile mark in 2023, but that might change. I've got this tour coming up in St. Louis and I think still to come this year is a tour in Florida. And that alone, those two voyages out and back to each of those locations will push me over the 200,000 mile mark. And then if I stay with the company, he does three tours in Florida. He's got South Dakota, Colorado, Nashville, and St. Louis. There might be another location that I'm forgetting right now. Um, something up around Washington and Pittsburgh area. There's a a trail out there that he tours. So I, I'm i not fond of air travel these days. I, I think some of you might be able to imagine why. So I'm gonna drive it. We'll see how that goes. So this car could be going back to mighty miler status. Okay, I can't think of much more to add to all of this. I just wanted to give you a small update on what I've been doing and I will keep you posted on new things to come. As always, I appreciate you being here and I will see you next time. Take care.